Good morning. I cannot believe I haven't picked up the camera since January. It's now April. It's April. I cannot believe it's April. So a lot has gone on since January, aka why I haven't picked up the camera. Um, so I'm pregnant. Um, I will do another video all about that. Um, I won't put that. I won't really go into all of that in this one. I'll probably do that with Luke. Uh, but today, I don't fit in anything. See this jumper. This jumper is like my go-to jumper. All my other jumpers are like old and it's just like, no. This is my only semi all right jumper, but I don't fit in anything else. All my other tops are like short. Um, they're not really crop, but they are really short. And because I'm 14 weeks, like, I don't know if it's because I had a baby before, but my like bump is like, an actual bump like not I wouldn't say like an actual actual bump but my tummy has definitely gone bigger so I just watched that bit back that I just filmed obviously gonna keep it in because I'm not doing it again oh my god the angles are so bad I'm like okay so I was just about to put my camera in my bag that aka why I'm got a little sticky thing um I just put toothpaste down me aka why I got a wet patch there like let's not let's <laughs> let's not jump to conclusions here it is um, toothpaste and I, I wiped it with a wipe and now it's just on the worst part of my jumper my only jumper fits this is what we're working with like it's not even me breathing out first breathing out I can't even breathe out I can breathe in and then that's just me normal so this this is it already like I don't know it's just the reasons why I can't wear any of my tops, as we can see, like, see, it's just forming a bit, so... Yeah, this is what, this is what I mean. Okay, so, I've just got here. I'm literally waiting four minutes, because I'm, I'm really confused if they actually open a door to the actual shopping centre until ten. Seems a bit late, because all the other shops are saying they're really open, and like the car park has cars in it so i'm not 100 percent, and i really need to wait and i'm really hungry and i haven't even got there yet and it was not even 10 o'clock so i'm gonna go there now and see and just pray the doors are open or i'm gonna end up wet myself like i love stuff okay so this is the first one this is really thick and i really like the brown color this one was a medium, but it wasn't in the maternity section. But it was £12 because it was thicker. Yeah. And I really like it. There's loads of growing space. It's a medium. I knew she'd go for a small. But it feels so nice and baggy. And look at the arms. I really like this. The colour's not coming up, but it's really thick as well. That's why it's, I think that's why it's £12. But it's just got loads of growing spaces. Really like this one. A bit expensive, but worth the quality. I thought I'd show you this one off camera first because it's so nice. So the top's eight pound, but it's so nice. And I thought my bump would be in this bit. So that's like a crappy top bit. And then the skirt is 12 pound, but it's really stretchy. And I really like this a little coset. So we're gonna see if it goes and if there's enough growing space for my bump. But it obviously, this was also not in the maternity section, but it's so nice. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think I like it. Make my bump look huge. And it makes my boobs look really saggy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, the black actually looks so much better. Okay. I still don't know if I could get away with it for maternity because obviously it's not the maternity section. But oh my god, it's so much different with the black. I just don't think cream and white suit me. But I actually love it. This has made my bum look huge, huge. But I don't know if it's got a lot of growing room. But oh my god. It's the same price. They don't have the skirt in a medium, it's a small, but I don't know if that quite fits a bit better. And these, 
like you can have it looser or you can tuck it up but I just don't know how much more growing room I have I really like it I don't know, I have to think oh, about it. Says it. On your little, um, it's really cute though. I really like it. Now I can pull it up a bit more to kind of colour my stomach. And the black looks so much better. And I tucked it under here to kind of give some support to my boobs, not gonna lie. But yeah, I really like this one. It's so much better than cream. Cream is just not for me. Like, so I did get some maternity actual clothes. These are some like, ripped trousers. These were ten pounds, and they've got obviously the bump bit, which I don't overly need yet, but it looks comfy. So I'm gonna try these ones on. Okay, so these must be the leggy ones. So they got the bumpy bit, which is loads of room. I don't know if I actually like the fit because they feel a bit on the baggy here on the actual leg. So I might have to leave these ones and then wait and see because my legs might get better. I don't know, who knows. But they're not that comfy yet. And the point of this was to get comfy clothes for today, not for the future. But next, I am trying these ones but they're flared so they might feel nicer but these ones will be 12 pounds and these are actually really comfy i love the flares they're literally like pajama pants though this is so comfy as well but i love the flares on them but i'm not going to get them because i don't need them at this moment in time but i do love them nowhere to come back baby stars in <laughs> But no, I might have to come back for them another time, but oh, they're so comfy. These would be perfect to like have in the hospital or like come home in them, especially after. But like, it's comfy, but I won't get them today though. But they do. Oh, I love them. I know to go for players in the pump. I don't know why I'm not with them. The last thing I got was this green blouse, which was in the maternity section, £14. gym to try but I thought it would look nice open to the top underneath let's try it. okay last one is this green blouse the maternity blouse because it has these little buttons here you can open but they're like a Christmas tree they do have this in other colours so I know they have a white and a blue and white stripes but this just it isn't for me so I got to underneath but I look like a Christmas tree Christmas tree, put a star on top. No. Okay, so I just got back from Lakeside. I spent an hour and a half in Primark and I've done some serious damage. I've got two bags. I've never come out of Primark with two bags. I usually go in there and I'm like, I can't see anything. And then I was going around all the other stuff as well, like the normal stuff, the non non maternal stuff that I can't really wear or buy for summer. And there were so many clothes that I would have worn. And I swear that never happens in Primark. Never. So I swear it was just like haunting me. Like, you could be wearing this. You could be wearing that. But you can't. So, I can't because it's all cropped. That's what I mean by that. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got. I literally spent an hour, over an hour and a half in Primark. And that's why I've done some serious damage. So I'm going to show you the stuff that I tried on. Oh, the co-set I ended up buying. Now, I really don't know if this is, was a good idea. But obviously this top was £8 and the skirt was £12. But I really like it. And if it doesn't fit, like when my bump gets bigger or if it doesn't look right, I can always send it back. But it's stretchy. It's got these little elastic bands to make it tighter, to make it looser. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. So it was like £20 for the co-set. I just think it's really cute for the summertime. I want to embrace my bump this time. Um, I want to love, obviously I love my bump, but like, I want to like wear, like go out my comfort zone of what I would normally wear, like just t-shirts and stuff. But, talk about just t-shirts, I did just buy a t-shirt because they're comfy. So I brought this one, 
it was in like the I think it was in the, it was in a special range but like it's been like the, the label's been half teared off but it was £12 but it's really thick again I showed you this one in the changing room if you could hear me I was talking so quiet because it was so busy in there all of like there it, it were so many people in there but they're all being so quiet so every time anyone spoke I was like oh it's time for me to get the camera out <laughs> nearly ended I was just like oh it's taking too long but um yeah it's really thick it's a nice length nice colour really like it I've got it in size medium which is 12 to 14 I'm usually I'd get a small but yeah um what else did I get I got some tights so these are four pound. Um, my tights at the minute <sighs> too small for me, like everything. But these obviously go over your bump. Um, yeah, so I thought these were perfect for four pound. I think it's only one pair. Yeah, one pair. But definitely worth it. Um, I think that's everything I got for me. Oh, I'd made a huge mistake. So I went down to the home section. Oh my god, it does say fourteen. I picked this up, this lovely bowl, this lovely bowl I thought I could use for a salad or I don't know when people come over and it's just nice to have in the middle of the table with you know just some form of nachos or salad and I looked at it and I was like four pound, I was like that's so good for four pound and I got to the till and I saw the scale for us 14, it does say 14. Um, I probably wouldn't have got it if it was 14 but I didn't have the, like, the courage to say I thought it was 4 because I didn't want to be that person but no I've ended up with a £14 bowl like I said I probably wouldn't have brought it for £14 but here's my bowl for £14 I do really like it it's actually good quality so I got that and then I went to the children's section got Sophia some shorts these were £8 I got 8 to 9 You'll see the I think everything I've got her was a different size. Um but these are mum shorts. Which is ironic. Um but they got their little adjustable bits inside and she's got the teeniest waist. So I'm really hoping these fit her. I just wanted to get stuff like this now because I don't know if all her sizes are gonna go out before summer. Um and you know what shops are like. Time to get to summer, the winter stuff's out. So I thought I'd just get ahead of the uh, A game. I did get her some knickers, there was like ten for five pounds but i'm not going to show you them because i'm sure she'll want her knickers shown um i got these really cute shorts which i know she's going to love because they're like beautiful purple right i've got nine to ten in these because these can pull her waist these were three pounds um they're just so nice to have in the summer especially when it's hot so i love these i think these are really cute and then i got her this t-shirt which is size 10 to 11 this was three pound again, but I love the what the white rim around them, like the um the arm and the neck. I just think that's really cute. I got it in a bigger size because one she can even have it tucked into her shorts, but if she's wearing leggings, it's not gonna like it's gonna be too short, and she's really tall. So I got ten to eleven plus like Primark stuff at shrinks. Um, not all of it. This jump has it's shrunk, and I've washed it loads of times. Um, I got this top for her. Oh, I've got 9 to 10 in this top. This was £5. It says flower power. And it's like got like a knitted flower. I just a bit like an egg, but no, it is flower. I thought it would go really cute with these shorts. With the colours. Not very good at holding it all up. But if that was tucked in. Or you could just wear it with these shorts. Don't have to be tucked in. Um, I thought it looked really cute. So, yeah, that was £5. Really like that. Um, then I got these for £4.50, but they came up as £4 on the till. Um, there's two baskets, and I thought these are literally Sophia's colours of her room, and I thought these would look so good on her desk. Um, the lakeside home section, oh, I've got stuck, uh, in Primark is so nice. There's so much nice stuff. Good quality, it looked good quality. And then I got, oh, two more things. I got. This candle for £1.50, it smelled really nice in the shop. I mean, I don't know why I'm holding it up, like you can sniff it, but it smells so good. And then last but not least, I got this. Um, 
fresh liner, liner, whatever it is. I'm trying to open it. I should have opened it beforehand. Here we go. I'm not too sure. It was 80p. It was 80p. So I was like, you got me there. And I love, oh, oh, I thought it was going to look like this. I thought it would have one of these. Oh, oh, I see. It's the same scent as that. But I'm really stupid. I thought these were going to look like that, like sticking out the top of this. But hey ho, I was wondering why that was 80p, but that's just a picture in the front. That was really stupid of me. But it does smell nice because it smells like that. It's going to smell good. So that was 80p. Can't go wrong with 80p anyway. So that's everything I got. Um, I didn't really like the maternity section stuff in there personally. I just feel like if you look at the other, like around the whole store, and you look at the maternity and the parenthood section, I just feel like it's aimed at a certain age group or a certain style, which is quite plain, which is fair enough if that's what you're into, but like, come on, come on. I was kind of hoping like seven years on from when I had Sophia, like the matern, I have seen people with amazing maternity clothes, but where'd you get them from? Please comment below if you know where you get these amazing maternity clothes from. Because it's not Primark, and I know that for free, because there was nothing in there. And I'm not all about the button-up blouses, like, I just don't feel that's me. I did like the trousers, though. Them flared ones, but I wouldn't wear them out. I just liked wearing them around the house, because I felt like ABBA, but, you know. It was... It was... Actually, I didn't get anything from the maternity... Oh, no, I got the tights from the maternity section. But yeah, no, that was everything. I did go on Tiger, saw nothing. Went in the works, saw nothing. Went to Greg's, got a sandwich. Um, but yeah, I literally just went there for Primark and I was in there so long. I am absolutely knackered. I'm so sorry about the lighting as well. Oh my God, and the mess over there. Look at the mess. It's because that's the... It's the blanket area, but then there's someone's put a box there. I'm so sure I didn't notice that. Um, and I'm getting tapped by the plant. Um, oh my God, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, oh my god, pronounce it right. Um, sorry about the lighting because I was gonna get my ring light out and then I saw it was at the back of the cupboard and there was loads of stuff in the way and me being lazy and absolutely shattered, even though all I've done is walk around the shop, I couldn't bother to get it out. So I tried to get the natural lighting to come in. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, fingers crossed we'll have some more coming out soon. But um, yeah, if you like this, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.